in South Sydney. Uh, it was a bit more encouraging. It was. Save JD's bacon for at least a few days. Seven days. Yeah. yeah. Did you? What, 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 did we think that it was a much improved performance? It, I thought so. Right. They looked a little bit. They looked like they were fighting for something. They had. Yeah. So, there was something to them. Um, and you know, in the in the last few weeks, they've just kind of. Uh, looked so disinterested and so unorganised and just looked like they just wanted to be anywhere else. But, um, yeah, at least they showed a bit of something, yeah. which is kind of what they were, that, what the club needed, what everyone kind of needed to see from them. Um, yeah, done enough to save his bacon. But For the time God, being. what an yeah, amount, time. what a huge amount of pressure. Oh. Just Someone said to me on the weekend, why would you be a coach? And I said, well, you do get paid really, well, really well. The money's really like good. Like, it's but good cash. <laughs> it's good cash. <laughs> yeah. But you do go great very quickly. You do. Yeah. Well, some of us go great quickly anyway. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, yeah. 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 No, I well, mean, they got the buy this week too, so yeah. potentially yeah. that, you know, alleviates a little bit of yeah. stress, <laughs> a little long, bit of pressure. Then they, then they yeah, go Melbourne then, Penrith after that. That's exactly right. Yeah. Joy Gray, did you think that we think Joy Gray did enough that when Latrell comes back, perhaps... Joy Gray stays at fullback? They want to explore that, don't they? Yeah, I think they do. I, I think JD is, like, if JD is there to pick a team for when they play against the Storm, I think it is first. Um, if, if, or whenever Latrell comes back, if it's the best thing for the team to have Joy Gray at fullback, then Joy Gray goes to fullback and Latrell goes to centre. And everybody involved just has to suck it up. You know what I mean? So, um, because, you know, for, for JD, there's no point in, you know, walking on eggshells anymore. He's got to be making all the moves that are going to guarantee his job for as long as mm. possible. But, yeah, I think Pam's right. I think it was the first game in a really long time where we actually saw some desire from, from those guys. You know, the, the result didn't go their way, but um, they, the, it felt like they were playing for something, finally. Mm. Um, and, and we saw in the post-match as well when JD was was addressing the team, Jack Wyden looked like he was in tears, you know. Mm. So uh, whatever happened during the week, <clears throat> whatever switch there was, because there were points where, there, you know, I think, it, uh, not to throw you under the bus, but at, so at one point did Go you on. say that no. JD had lost the dressing room? Or Me, no, that, I you said Bobo had lost the dressing room last year. <laughs> I'm not making that mistake again. Actually, I never said that. He thinks I, he took it that way. I never said that, but anyway. No, I, no, I never said JD had lost the dressing room. Well, there were suggestions I might have said um, it gave the impression okay. that they weren't playing the for him. Yeah. 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 Well, if there was that impression, you didn't yeah. get that on the weekend. No. Mm. So that's that's at least some sort of improvement. Right what about you not want to throw him out of the bus and then just throw him out of the bus? And then just proceeds to throw him out of the bus. I love it. <laughs> well, I look at Joy Gray's stats, 148 metres, six tackle bus, didn't miss any tackles, and that was a concern, I think, for people because he's such mm. a small frame. Yeah. Um, so he did a good job. Mm -hmm. for a young kid coming in under immense pressure. Well, that what do you think is going to happen? Uh, do you think honestly, that I think that club at the moment is got political drama going on. Mm -hmm. And it depends who wins the day. I think there's really senior figures in there who who are on a different on their on different pages mm -hmm. and they're pulling in different directions and um, whatever the whatever way it lands I reckon you'll see some senior figures who might walk away, yeah. potentially. Okay. So my gut feel is at the moment that Jason will, will stay for at least a couple more weeks. But, man, you know, then you can turn away Melbourne Penrith. Yeah. If they get touched up in those two games, what do you do then? Yeah. But, you know, so I mean, <clears throat> I mean this, you can pretty much say that the season's pretty much over at the moment, but by then it is over. Oh, so dead and buried then. Yeah, but then what does the interim <laughs> coach come and do? Yeah. So well, Mel's leave, basically ruled himself out. Yeah, now. but I then mean, to leave in six months' time. <laughs> that was like Mel's political career. His <laughs> South Sydney coaching career. No, I'm actually, out. yeah. Oh, I'm out of the <laughs> Look at that. I can't Great do this. Man. I'm out. Yeah. yeah. So, I, I'm, you know, I don't know. What, what, do you think they, what do you think they should do? What do you think is the best path for them? It's a really difficult one. It is a really difficult one. I think... The, I don't know. The I think the buy has come at a perfect time just to kind of cool things off a little yeah. bit and just to kind of everyone can settle down and have some time away. And I think the pressure that, you know, coming into this weekend was just so huge. And to kind of put in a pretty good performance and then just go away and think, you know what, maybe not all is lost here mm. and maybe we can start fresh from now and see. I mean, chances are, you know, 
Melbourne and Penrith, they're probably, they, they're mm-hmm. going to be, that's a really difficult no, Melbourne, I would say, well, they haven't convinced me. Mm-hmm. I know they've won, I think they're four and one, but mm-hmm. I've, I've not been convinced. And I'm, I'm storm man, right? I love Melbourne. <laughs> but I'm not convinced by them. I feel like they do this every year, they though. They do, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they trick us every year. It's a false security. sense of security. Yeah. I would um, say on, on Jason, it's like Nick Pappas, the chairman, came out last week a couple of times, spoke, spoke, um, went on the record, which he doesn't do a lot, Nick, mm. and said, you know, as long as it, if, it's, if, it's, if they win or it's an honourable loss, mm. then that's enough for us, mm-hmm. right? That was an honourable loss. Mm. Yeah. So if they but then... For how long? How many more honourable losses? If they turn around now and this week and they decide, and obviously they're cooling things off at the moment, but at some point this week, they are having discussions within the club, mm. club about what's the right direction mm. and, um, you know, what's the mood like in there. And if they get get to later in the week and they think, well, maybe we do need to make the change, it's it would be hard because Nick's come out in public and said, if it's a, if it's a yeah. win or an honourable loss... You know, he's bought himself some time. So, mm. um, and I think, I, I think Nick doing that was, cal- I think it was calculated because I don't think, I don't think Nick wants to see JD yeah. shunted, right? I think he, yeah. I think he wants to give him a bit more time and the club a bit more time. So, um, yeah, I think we all expect Wayne will be there next year, one way or the other, right? Mm-hmm. Is that, is that the expect? Do we expect? I that? would expect, yeah. yeah. Madge, no, I wasn't keen. No, I think there's some people there who like Madge. I think there's some people there who, don't. who. Would prefer Wayne. I think, mm. with due mm. respect to Madge, um, if you can get Wayne a seven time premiership winner, you know, and Madge has given a commitment to New South Wales, it'd be a bit rude if he turned around. Was that a two year commitment? It was a two year commitment. Okay. And he, they were only, I think they initially only wanted one, mm. and he pushed them to get two. Okay. So if he then turned around and went, yeah. sorry guys, the end of the year I'm going. Yeah. It's not. What about yeah. the chat that Wayne Bennett's actually sort of circling, waiting for the Parramatta job? I don't think that's right. Well, I think Wayne's just circle went for a job, right? <laughs> just any job. So, but I, I spoke to some people at Para last week, and Brad's not under any pressure at but all. But that's what they've been saying about him all I know, but he's not. He's not under any pressure from Power Brokers at the club. Who didn't suggest that he was under pressure, but said mm. something interesting. If it got to the point at the end of this season where Brad Arthur took some time to reflect mm-hmm. and came to the decision that maybe he's taken this roster this as far as it could go that it would be an amicable yeah but the issue there is that's beautiful. Wayne will be done by then yeah so you know if you want mm. Wayne yeah. you've got to act soon you can't wait till the end of the year because mm. Wayne by then will have well I imagine he'll have made a decision right yeah. one or the other so I don't think Parramatta's realistically at the moment on the table for Wayne because mm. I think they're wedded to Brad they're committed to Brad and they think he's doing a good job so um, if that's the case and look they won on the weekend so that mm. alleviates a lot of pressure off, of course, yeah. off them right so um, you know I think it's south or bust at the moment for Wayne yeah. and you know he's got he's got history there he's got a good relationship with Russell um, you know, he, people at that club respect what he did when he was there, and the play, and most importantly, the players respect him. The players love him at that place, so mm. it just makes the most sense. Yeah. But the issue that's next year, right? The issue is now. the short yeah. term. What they mm. do now to try and um, turn things around and get things back on track, and I, I just don't know what removing JD does for you. No, yeah. I agree. Ben Hornby's there yeah. already. Of course, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So what does that change? Yeah. So all that, by removing him now. All you're doing is... You're not actually solving uh, any of the issues. Yeah, it's right? like the like season's done. An interim coach is not going to solve For any of what? the issues. The, you know, you get an interim coach in, they don't have... I mean, the it's professional... It's they played for the weekend as well. Yeah. They play, yeah, you can they, see they, they played yeah, for... Yes, but you bring an interim coach in, how much of the issues are they actually going to solve? Mm. Um, you get a situation where, you know, they're professional, so you expect players to put in every single week, but knowing this coach, whoever he is, isn't going to determine whether they play you know, the next year or not, or whether mm-hmm. they get contracts extended or not. And then all of a sudden, you just it's just <clears throat> for a club in the situation that they're in, an interim coach probably isn't the solution for them. Yeah. 